Hi guys, so today I have a few fun things to share with you um, in a haul. Um, I got in quite a few things over like the Christmas kind of time. I mean, I still include this as Christmas break, but um, I was busy, you know, we went out to see my mom and then I had my sister visit here, so I'm getting to it now. Um, if anything's still available, I'll have links in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. Um, I think some of these things are auto ship from HSN. I know I have a haul from Tonic. And it wasn't even a Cyber Week haul. It's just something I picked up later on. Um, I am waiting for one Cyber Week order from Tonic that I had ordered from the UK site. And they shipped it really fast, like the next day. But it's Royal Mail and didn't have tracking. And it's still not here yet. So, And I think they're on vacation. Like, if I, were to, I tried calling, they're not answering right now. So I'm like, yeah, I'll have to wait until I think the 4th of January is when they'll be back. But I'll keep trying until then because that is kind of a bummer. Um, Royal Mail's been good, so I don't know what's going on. Obviously, some, there's some kind of hang-up. Um, so whenever that comes in, I will show it to you. But I do like to share those kind of things because I know if I order from a company, regardless where they are, especially if they're overseas, I know people are always curious about um, shipping and those kind of things. So just to let you know, it has not come in. <laughs> um, but again, like I said, they shipped it quickly. It's just, I don't know. I don't know where it's at. Okay, let me, real quick, pick up some stuff, and this is a bummer. A lot of this stuff got delivered late, like this was supposed to come in um, well before Christmas, but it was held up in a week in Las Vegas at, I don't know where, I guess the post office, but it came from a different kind of shipping service. I don't know why, I don't know where Addy's catalog is, I thought they were here in the U.S., I think they are, but I don't know why. It was just shipped weird, and they held on to it at the post office for a while. And when I say held on to, people say, oh, the whole stuff doesn't do that. I mean, like, yeah, well, yeah, but it got held up there. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying they held up to it on purpose. Sorry, there was a receipt around here. Okay, um, oh, this is just the catalog thing to look at. Anyway, I just ordered some crochet stuff, but it came in after Christmas, so I couldn't even do them. But we have uh, the Annie's Christmas. I mean, oh, oh, this one has different things. It's not just crochet, which is what I think is super cute. Look at that. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You know what? I can still do this. Just make, not making Christmas colors, right? Cute little gnome. Anyway. Cute stuff. This I got, obviously it was already on clearance because it's after Halloween. And, oh, this one, Holly Jolly Christmas stockings. I just like the little faces and things that were on this. I could make something up like this on my own. I don't know, have you guys ever made up your own little patterns? I think it's fun. But Magic Ring Slippers, which I might even have this one already on hand. You know, sometimes you pick up older ones and then I'm like, do I have this? <laughs> so anyway, a Merry Christmas, Crochet Christmas. I wanted this because of this. And then, okay, well, it came and went, and I didn't get a chance to make it, but look how cute. <laughs> just, like, cheesy. And then one of the regular magazines. So that's just from Annie's Attic, Annie's Craft. I don't even know what they call it. There's, like, different sites. Um, okay, so this came in, and I just opened it right now. The Ribbon Threading Craft Kit from Crafter's Companion. I guess we can take a quick peek because I don't think this video should take too long, and I've been away from you all, so let's take a minute <laughs> Oh, I have some ideas. I have like an idea for a card that pops up on the inside. So I wrote down my little ideas last night. So hopefully I can get this video done today, not tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow actually they're launching. Tonic has a lunch for the Campfire Critters Stamp Club. So maybe not tomorrow, but hopefully I'll get it done today. Um, okay, so it has ribbon, it has clear stamps. Let's look at the meat and potatoes of this clear stamps. I know what they mean by ribbon threading. I didn't even look. Okay, so these are um, sentiments. So this is an auto ship. So it's not something you're going to... Well... Maybe you can pick it up right now. I don't know. Sometimes they bring them that quickly or like Crafters Companion themselves already had it or has it or Paper Wishes or Scrapbook.com. They're all over the place now. Okay, so that's what I thought. This is really cute though. I don't know if I'll do much of the ribbon threading. We'll see. Because I've never really done that. So maybe a good thing to try out. It has the edges. So you can either put that in your paper or you can cut the edge. You can cut the other edge. You can cut a whole piece and then use it as a decorate. Decorate? <laughs> it's a decorative item. I think that's really cute. I mean, it's only two. Again, this is not, you know, with tax and shipping everything, you're at $30 or so. Let's see how much ribbon is in this. Okay. So, these ribbons are usually like a foot and a half long. You know, I don't know if it's any more than usual. It's nice and thin, really cute with the organza and like the satin. I like these. This is what they should include most of the time. Not that I really like skinny ribbon, but um, it's good. So card blanks, you know, all the paper and all that. So we'll get to that once we actually make the tutorial. Okay, yeah, I wasn't even paying attention to this. Look how cute. On the edge there. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple. Maybe the ribbon's a little too thin. We'll see. 
Um, okay. And this is an auto ship. Now, this did come in, like I said, a lot of stuff came in before Christmas. I just didn't have time to get to it. I'm going to try to make the time, guys, to get the kids go back to school. I think in the first, like, teen, teen days of January. I don't remember right now. But I got to make more time to get these videos going. Um, so this is an auto ship from Anna Griffin, okay? So if it's available, I'll have it linked there. But it's the Fanciful Slim Concentric die set on the auto ship. It is so pretty. And remember, I think we saw a preview of this in, like, one of the other boxes because they had she had put it, like, like as a background in one of the cards. And I was like, I think that's coming up. So really, really gorgeous set. Happy to have that. All right, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I love this one to come in. I don't know why. This is still part of the triple easel sets from uh, Crafts Companion. Some of them came in I didn't want. Some, you know, I went ahead and skipped ahead of time. This one, I just like circles and scallops and, like, might as well. So I went ahead and allowed it to come in. I do like that in the center is this cute little heart and then the word hello. So this is also an auto ship. But, again, it's just it's concentric dies. You can do this with any die set that you have that's concentric. Make your own easels. Actually, I will keep that packaging just in case. What is this one? Oh, cool. What? <laughs> I didn't realize this was so small. I don't know what I was looking at. The Secret Garden 8x8 Vellum Pad. And um, you can find this on Craft Stash, I believe, too. But um, you know what? I thought this was either a bigger paper pad or two of them because of the price that they were asking for. I don't know what I saw, but it's really pretty. I mean, I'm happy to have this gorgeous vellum. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Love it. Not what I was expecting. I have a little cough drop in, guys. Sorry. If you hear it clicking around. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to look up to make sure I don't have this already, because I know I have a lot of this, you know, Griffin's uh, dyes and things, but um, this is the Paper Tricks Rosettes 1, 2, and 3. And I'm not the hugest rosette maker, but I do like rosettes, so I'm going to use them more often. I think they're so cute. <laughs> I mean, obviously that adds a lot of thickness to your card or whatever project, but people put them on, like, little paper straws and pop them in things and make it look really adorable. So really, really sweet. Um, obviously different sizes, different edgings, the centers. You know, I'm planning to mix and match this with, like, the tonic set that I have. Um, okay, I was like, maybe they'll have some. <laughs> There's, like, literally no info here. It's just, you know, obviously cut them out, put your paper in, roll it out. But you think they would have some info as far as this? I mean, right? Nope, yep. <laughs> no info. But I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. You're just going to overlap those two, you know, when you glue them together. But I think you need two of them also to get it looking really nice, or two or three, right? I might try that sooner than later, just because. Okay. Um, oh, these are Anna Griffin... China cabinet. Remember I told you guys that they're selling on HSN different pieces of like China cabinet stuff, so it might be the embellishments, the card sets, or whatever. They're not inexpensive, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I really, really wanted this. So this is China cabinet cards and envelopes, and they are just so gorgeous, you guys. So these are basically refills to one of the sets. I don't remember if this is like the very first one or what, but it looks like the wildflower, but look how pretty. Ugh. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it just to show you guys in case you're not familiar. And again, whatever round things like those scallop dies, whatever is, or just build it up, some flowers that have a sentiment. I mean, it doesn't have to be ridiculous. Oh, look at those. I just really love this, and it's nice to have the refills. Because they're always so pretty, so it's so hard for me to, like, cover all this up. But, like, here, maybe I put a little flower here, a little flower here, and maybe just a sentiment in the center. Um, I know we're supposed to cut all these lacy things and whatever else, but... I guess I would end up covering that part up, but they're just so pretty. Look, this one's easier to build off of because you don't feel bad. <laughs> oh, look at that. Is that like a little pheasant or something? I love it. So pretty. Okay, so that's just the card bases. Super gorgeous. Um, where is this? Oh. I did want to show you, and I'm sure maybe you've watched it by now, hopefully, um, if you are if you like to watch my videos. Um, the Spellbinders, oh, you guys. So this is Anna Griffin paper that I used here, and then I just paired it up with other things. But, like, I really like this. And 
And the other thing I was thinking, because it's so easy to make, like, they're just so much fun. But maybe to add, like, a scalloped edge on these so they're more decorative. You can definitely do that. Um, and then uh, just build up from there. And when you open it, it doesn't bother anything. You know, the scallop edge will be hanging here, maybe here. But it's not going to impede the design. I think that will be really fun. Just want to show them to you in case you haven't seen the videos. You might want to check them out. Oh, they're new from Spellbinders. Um, I really like them, so that's why I wanted to show them to you guys. This is Dime Press. Oh, Shadowbox dies. So this is a auto um, auto ship from the shadow box from a long time ago. It might be the last one, from the second to the last one. Um, sending lots of love. I know I haven't gotten to making the auto ship videos on these or the videos on these, but I just, you know, for me, it's, if it's on auto ship and I have it, that's all I care about. So I'll get to it later, uh, possibly. Love the banner. Oh, look, it has like, um, like, like a rough edge to it, you know what I'm saying? So it looks like antique -y. That's really cool. And then it has the little things to make like little scenes in the background. I love the tags this cuts out. If you just cut those out and use them as tags, that'd be really cool. It cuts three at once if you want to use them. Uh, the, the little stitch is on the inside, though. It's on this piece, obviously. It's not on the negative piece. Um, all kinds of things to decorate with. And basically... Oh, my gosh. Hopefully they bring this one back if you're interested. Again, these all mix and match. I do like that they keep giving you the base one because they could not do that, right? And then just have the insert. But every time, basically, you can just keep, um, you know, pop in here if they have it available and you're good to go. You don't have to have something else to make it work. No little rainbows. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> love it. I'll always love you. Sent with love. Special delivery. Sending lots of love. Like, this is just adorable. So you can see the little owls in the rainbow and little post office uh, I guess like a mailbox so cute all right oh you guys are you guys waiting for January this reminds me I have lots of fun things to share with you guys from Diamond Press and LDR's creative <clears throat> just gorgeous stuff okay and right now, Tonic does have their vault sale. I know a lot of the things that people were looking forward to are gone. I didn't even know they had a cantilever box one. I love that one. I have the larger one. I think they call it Bascule or something. But the little one that came with the designer's choice, I had no idea that was even in... I have no idea, because I don't work with them in that capacity, so I don't know anything. I thought they were going to add things daily, because that's what they did in the past, like two years ago, I guess now. Um, but they're not doing that. They're just... Whatever was there is there until it sells out. So I know some people asked about if they're going to have paper packs. I don't think so because this is about getting stuff that they had before, like so Designer's Choice, Stamp Club. It said magazines, they don't have any magazines on the US side, at least I didn't see them. Craft kits, um, things like that. Maybe showcases, I'm not sure. Um, on the UK side, they did have a lot more stuff and people uh, heard from you guys about that too, but you know, they are based in the UK so that's where they have more of their stuff, right? Um, which is a bummer because they had some fun things there. But, you can, again, you can order from the UK site, even if you're in the US. I always include links to both sites. But, like I said, I ordered my stuff. And I've never had a problem with Royal Mail, so this is just like a hiccup, in my opinion. I mean, they got it out quickly, and it just hasn't shown up. So, anyway. Um, these are the small craft magnets, and I've been wanting to get some of these for my memory books, if I'm going to get into that. I really wanted to try these out. Again, you don't have to use these to, like, close up pockets or the whatever. You can use Velcro or nothing which is what I've been doing, but I did want to pick some of these up. They're nice and thin. I do want to point out that it says there's 20. That means it's 10 pairs, so not 20 pairs. So you have to put two of them together, obviously, to make it work right. So these are the small guys, the small ones. They have larger ones that I think are, like, much less in pairs. I think they might have six pairs. I, I don't really remember right now, but it has less pairs than this. So just to know that. Oh, this is what I was looking forward to, you guys. So this is something new they came out with. And you guys know, if you know they're sensitive for review, great. If they don't, I will pick it up myself. <laughs> if I'm, uh, it's something I would like to try out. So this is a bundle for the um, Oriental Skylights. And I know the lighting's kind of crazy because the shine, sorry. So this one happens to come with Gold Coast. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know what? I don't know if they have these still yet. Or yet. But the crystal drops that came in the last kit, the Give It a Twirl craft kit, I love these. They do dry clear. They dry perfectly clear. They dry. They look awesome. And you guys probably saw it, hopefully, in the last uh, video I did for the craft kit. 
I hope they have these. If they have these, I'll link them in the description box. But because sometimes they'll put something in a craft kit, but it doesn't come out for another month or two. Um, or they're always out, so they brought them back there, you know. So the crystal drops are so cool. But this one has a little bit of glitter. It's called Gold Coast. It came with... Um, uh, this one, I'm assuming it's gold, says Midas Touch, add a subtle gold shimmer effect, which is cool, because I don't think I have this one yet. Um, but this is obviously what I was going for. These are really big dies, so you're going to have to have a machine that's a little bit bigger. Um, I think the largest one here, it says it's 3.4 by 6.5, which isn't bad, because you can even get that through a marquee, right? 3.4 by 6.5 in the length. Oh, um, yeah, I think that's how... It and then this one is 3.9 by 11.1. .1. So, you know, you can get this in the marquee, too. In the skinny way, right? There's this, this die, basically. Oh, okay. So, I guess you don't have to have the biggest machine. They are bigger, though. Just, you know, in general. I just <laughs> don't want people to think it's too big or, or only have, like, a little machine. I don't know. Like, a mini or something. And then, I don't know. Anyways, um, they're just so cute. And I don't know if you guys saw the videos for them. The way they open up and, like, I know they have the little candies here in the center. Because if this one, they... They kept it so it's like this, so that there's just a hollow in the center, you know? But you can also make these little, like, pockets. I don't know how to explain it. Like, little doors in here. Maybe this one will show. But this, I mean, when you see it made, it's big. Like, you think this is like, oh, a little cute thing. You know, somebody's going to do that. No, this thing is big. This one's smaller. But I was dying to get this one. But for me, if I'm going to spend the money, I might as well get the bundle because it's a better deal. <laughs> so I picked up both. So I really, this is one I was really looking forward to. Um... So again, they did the flat sides, but you can make little little notches here. I don't know how to explain it, like little doors. So I will definitely tutorialize these for you guys. And then it also came with the red and black paper, which is gorgeous. It has kind of more of an Asian feel, jet black and cherry red. Maybe add some gold in there, which they had the gold accents, but my old gold paper, that'd be really nice. I did pick up some drop bundles. Now I have drops to like, you know, until the day I'm gone from this earth. But uh, these are stone drops. And I am a huge fan of the stone drops, and I don't have a lot of those colors. I think I have maybe two or three. So, um, if you guys know, these have like a little roughness to them. So when they dry, they have like, it feels like sand, basically. So pink granite. And then really muted colors, like that pink is very soft. Mustard jar. Really cute. Oh, I love this. Morning fog. Of course, it has more of a stone look to it. And I still use them like drops. I mean, you can use them as texture too, which is really cool. Lady Liberty. Oh, that's so cool. It's like oxidized. A little patina there. And this is Gold Rush. So at the time, they had a bundle for these, and that's when I grabbed that. Like I said, this isn't from Cyberweek. This is just an order I placed, and it came in pretty quick. So I think with Tonic, all the U.S. orders I had placed are in. Um, just waiting for that other one, so I will find out what happened there, hopefully. Um, and that one included the little Tiffin boxes, which are so cute, so I'm really excited to get that. And I was like, ah, why is it taking so long? And then with the holiday, I wasn't even paying attention. I just realized, I'm like, hey, I haven't gotten that, <laughs> that one box yet. Okay, so this is Classic Card and Avocado Green. So this is a bundle, sorry, that had the Mariposa Moments paper. And then it came with all these, and I was just like, yeah, I have to get this, because they coordinated this perfectly. I mean, look at all this stuff. So you can kind of see, you know, through the lighting. I don't know if they still have this bundle. Sometimes I'll keep the bundles longer, but I don't know. So avocado green, honey gold mirror card, which is one of my favorite mirror cards. And they sometimes they're out of honey gold, but honey gold is the one I like. They have lots of them and gold shimmers and stuff. That's my favorite color. We have navy blue classic card again. The classic card is the textured card. It is good stuff. Um, it's 80 pounds. It's funny because they put this in pounds when they put other things in GSMs. I don't remember. 80 pounds, I think it's like... Roughly 160, 200, I don't know. It's like on the mid end of thicknesses. Well, I mean, I guess that helps you out if you're the U.S. type person. You would know what 80 pounds is. Maroon Red. Uh, Navy Dazzle. Ooh, nice and thick. Um, oh, did you see me there? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> Firestone Red. Another gorgeous, I mean... Oh, Tan Brown. I don't think I have this one. Tan Brown, because it's kind of like... Um, uh, that's not the color I'm thinking. I'm thinking ecru, but no, like, like a deeper straw, like a rattan color. I don't know. Never had this one. Pretty ginger pie, my favorite, new favorite color. <laughs> I love this color. You can use it for like, um, to make like house stuff. Like I did gingerbread to just add it to whatever. It's so pretty. I really like it. It's just like a rustic, almost reddish brown, majestic gold. And this one's a pearlescent card. 
I didn't realize this had so much paper. It's awesome. And that's what we say. Whenever they have paper bundle deals, guys, that's when we should get them. They pretty much do it every Wednesday, if not um, Wednesday and the weekends. Uh, Mariposa Moments. And I, I, this is kind of an accompaniment to the paper pack I showed you guys last time around. Um, Precious Moments? I don't remember what they called it. But let's take a look at this. I need to get another one of these for sure. I should have bought two of these bundles, what I should have done. I think these are like $15.99 anyway or something like that by themselves. So it's not, you know, um, super expensive. It is two of each, two each of nine double-sided papers. So it's 18 sheets. Um, this one has a strong smell of paper. <laughs> Look at, I love that you can cut this up and still use that. You can cut these little pieces. The back of it is gorgeous. And this doesn't count as one of your sheets, of course. It has these beautiful strips. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so let's check this out. I think we're in a good position. Look at this. Oh, with the print and the pretty stuff on the side. Again, the back is just, I mean, this is, oh man, you guys, the Boston. How oh, pretty. Look at this. I'll definitely link this if it's by itself or um, in that bundle. Oh my gosh. The roses, they just remind me of like, I don't know. Just the prettiest stuff when I was a kid. Beautiful roses. Look at that. And then we're going to like purples and blues. Again, with the type in the background. I love how they include these little bits. Like right now, I don't know how. Maybe I'll put this on a hidden altar paper clip or something. But you have these little um, pieces that you can do different things with. The um, sizing is much smaller, right? The um, perspective. How does it work for that? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> the back is like more like 6x6. Six six. These are clearly not 6x6 six because six, this is 12x12. 12 12, so this is a little bit smaller than that. But if you cut them and have that edge, then you have white edge all around it. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I just love that. Look at this one. And yes, I'm going to go through each and every one because I must. Oh, this is more like uh, four inch squares. Yeah, right? Four, eight, twelve. Yeah. I love that. How they just shrunk it down. And it it's just really pretty, you guys. I know um, recently a lot of people have been doing where it looks like photocopy. This one does not have that look to it. I don't know if you can see. It's more crisp. And then it has the postcards. Really pretty. So, of course, those are six by uh, four. All kinds of fun shapes here. Again, these are made to go um, with like their memory albums. So, I have a feeling that there are die sets within those that would cut these out for you um, if you wanted them to. You can fussy cut it if you're not into, you know, all that whole thing. So, but we just use the other side. And then they repeat, right? I think that's where we started. Ugh. So pretty. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll get to you guys later today. I know Matt is going to take Miranda to watch a movie to give me some time. And uh, I think that's when I'll have to get it all going. Oh, you know, Spellwinders has their new um, club kits coming out with an extra special addition to those things. So um, keep an eye out for that. On the first, I'll have my video and it'll show all the different club kits because um, going forward I'll be doing all of them. So that includes from the clear stamp, from the newer edition that they're going to be doing, uh, all the way to you know the glimmer and the card kit and everything. So um, I'll be able to show it all to you on the first and then start working with them, right? So uh, really fun, really exciting. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had a great uh, Christmas and I'll have a happy, happy new year. Um, I'll see you before the new year, but you know, if it's just a video that I'm going to do a tutorial, I'm probably not going to talk about that. So this is our chit chat video. Um, hope we have lots of fun videos coming up for you guys. So yeah, just to definitely keep out um, an eye out for hopefully I'll make that video that I was talking about. I just want to try out this card idea I had bumping around my head. Um, maybe I'll use some of these things. I don't know. Um, uh, the Campfire Critters from Tonic is coming out. And then, of course, on the first, the uh, Spellbinders launches uh, for the kits. And I think that's all. All right, guys. Thanks so much. I'll have the links in the description box for anything that's available. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.